Okay, let's start. Unit 6, Lesson 1, Classify Triangles by Sides and Angles. So this entire unit, we are going to be talking about triangles. We're going to start off by classifying some. So to start off with, I want you to describe a triangle. I'd like for you to pause the video and in your group discuss what do you think makes a triangle a triangle. Okay, the things that come to my mind when I think of triangle is I think, oh, that's green. I don't want it to be green. I think three sides. And I also think that all the angles have to add up to 180 degrees on the inside. Do you remember that from our polygons earlier in the year? So when I think of a triangle, that's the basic thing that I think. Three sides, all the angles add up to 180. We're going to begin our classifications by classifying by sides. And there are three classifications for sides. There's equilateral, isosceles, and scalene. Now, we have three triangles here. One is equilateral, one's isosceles, and one's scalene. What I want you to do is to pause the video and with your group decide which is which, which one's the equilateral, which one's the isosceles, which one's the scalene, and then come up with an idea of why you think they're classified that way. So I want you to go ahead and do that now. Okay, we're going to start over here on the left. This first triangle, it is isosceles. What makes it isosceles is that it has two congruent sides. So all triangles that have two congruent sides are isosceles triangles. Next we're going to move to the middle triangle. Now the middle triangle looks like it has three congruent sides, which is all its sides are congruent. And that is an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle has three congruent sides. Now, not only is this middle triangle equilateral, it's also isosceles. Because our definition for isosceles is two congruent sides. Well, the equilateral has two congruent sides, so it's also isosceles. So you could have classified that triangle with two different names. So if the first one was isosceles, the middle one was equilateral, the last one has to be scalene. And scalene means there are zero congruent sides. None of the sides are congruent. So isosceles, two congruent sides, equilateral, three congruent sides, scalene, no congruent sides. Now we have four examples, and I want you to classify each of these by saying isosceles, equilateral, or scalene. So go ahead and pause the video and in your group discuss which you think is which. Okay, starting with number one. I see that there are two congruent sides. Two congruent sides tells me that it is isosceles. Number two, there's nothing indicating that the sides are congruent, but we know that all the links are four. Well, if their links are the same, that means that they're congruent. So we have three congruent sides, meaning it is equilateral or you could have also called this isosceles if you wanted to but the most specific name for it is equilateral number three we don't have any marks indicating sides are congruent but we know that two sides are seven and one is eight well knowing our facts about congruence we know that these two sides are congruent because of their measures so this is also isosceles The last one, 
We don't know anything about the side links. We don't know if any of the sides are congruent. So that must mean it's scalene. Now we're going to talk about classifications by angles. There are four classifications by angles. There's equiangular, acute, right, and obtuse. So in your group, once again, I'd like for you to pause the video and discuss and decide which of these triangles you think are, is the equiangular, which you think is the acute, the right, and the obtuse. So go ahead and do that now. All right, we're going to start up here in the top left. We see that in this triangle, all the angles are indicated as congruent. Well, it's the same concept as with equilateral. This is the equiangular triangle. In the top right, we don't know anything about this angle or this angle, but we do know that this angle is a right angle. Well, if there's a right angle, it's probably a right triangle. So this is a right triangle. Which just leaves us with acute and obtuse. And if remember, acute means that it's under 90. Obtuse means the angle's over 90. Well, if we look in the lower left-hand corner, we see that this has degree measures of 80, 50, and 50. All three of those are acute angles, so this probably means it's an acute triangle. Lastly, if we look at the bottom right, we see that it has one angle that's greater than 90 degrees, and this is the obtuse triangle. So to recap, an equal angular triangle, all the angles are equal. In a right triangle, it has to have one right angle. In an acute triangle, all three angles have to be acute. And for a triangle to be obtuse, it needs just one obtuse angle. Okay, here's some examples in your group. I'd like for you to pause the video and decide which of these triangles are equiangular, acute, right, or obtuse. Alright, start with number one. I don't know anything about these two angles, but I see this right angle right here, which is a dead giveaway that it is a right triangle. Number two, I see that this angle right here is 120 degrees. That's more than 90, meaning this is obtuse. Three. This is 80 and this is 80. Those are both acute, but I don't know what this is. So I'm going to have to do a little math. I know that it has to add up to 180 for all the angles. So 80 plus 80 is 160, which means I need 20 more. 20 is also less than 90, so this is the acute. I know that this is 60, I know that this is 60. I'm going to have to do a little bit of math again to figure this out. So 60 plus 60 is 120, and I need to do 180 minus 120, and that also gives me 60. So this up here is also 60, meaning that this is equilateral. Erase this real fast. Equilateral. Okay, last we're going to talk about the parts of a triangle. So start over here with vertex. The vertex is all of the points where two sides meet. So these are your vertexes of your triangle. Then we're going to talk about on the right here with this colorful triangle, sides and opposites. The side across from an angle is called its opposite side, and the angle across from a side is the opposite angle. So this red 
angle, the side opposite is the red side. The blue angle is the blue side. The green angle is the green side. So these are angles and their opposite sides.